Hello everyone, this is the first tutorial from Android GT explaining how you can increase your Android phone's RAM. Most cheap Android phones available in the market have very less amount of RAM, mostly measuring up to 256 MB. Phones with 256 MB RAM are incapable of running recent games such as Temple Run 1, Temple Run 2, Subway Surfers, Jetpack Joyride and countless others. So if you have a cheap Android phone and if you want to run latest games, you will require a minimum of 512 MB RAM. This tutorial shows you how you can increase your RAM by up to 256 MB. This method only works for rooted Android phones. Each Android OS runs on Linux kernel which has an awesome feature of swapping. Swapping is using your external memory or internal memory as RAM. But it also has a downside. Original RAM or RAM cards have extremely fast read and write speeds but your external memory cards such as your micro sd cards have very less read and write speed generally up to six megabytes per second so with this technique you will be able to increase your mobile's ram but the swapped ram or the swap will not be as efficient as the original ram so your games and your applications would load slowly as compared to original 512 mb ram the first step includes downloading swapper 2 from google play I already have downloaded it. The screen which you see here is my Android phone and is shown on the screen by Android Screencast. A tutorial on how to do this will be uploaded soon and its link will be given in the description. First install Swapper 2. Open the Swapper 2. Allow super user rights. Go to settings. Although the recommended swapiness is 10, you may set it to 60. Swapiness is the intensity with which the Linux kernel will swap your swap file. Enable safe unmount and safe remount. and press the on button don't worry even if it says fail it will take time to create swap and enable swap after it shows all done minimize your swapper after you have successfully swapped there will be swap file.swp created in your memory card with the size same as you did set by creating the swap in swapper 2 application in my case 32 MB of swap file.swp is created you can create it up to max a maximum of 256 MB so to check if your swap is on and working you will have to download terminal emulator terminal emulator is a Linux terminal in which you can execute Linux commands the Google Play link for downloading terminal emulator is provided in the description after installing terminal emulator open it and enter free space dash m the linux command free shows total amount of memory that is random access memory and swap memory used and free in one screen so in my case it shows one megabyte of swap used and a total of 31 megabytes of swap space available and my total uh, random access memory is 222 megabytes out of which 217 is used and 5 is free